Hello everyone, and welcome back to Slime Rancher 2. It's been a hop and a skip since I last did a recording, so as always, what the heck was I doing last time? Things set up. Ooh. I know I bought these three. I've got food over here. I don't think I'm using this one, and this one I am. Oh, yeah, because it's the one that's in the cave. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've got the baddie slimes in there. We need something to Largo them with. Yeah, Largo. Uh, let's see, baddie. They like pomegranates. Got our puddle. We've got our fire. Oh, I wanted tangle slimes. That's right. But we lost only one we had. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, we were kind of working our way through the Ember Valley. Lots of Gordos there. And there's also the Starlight Strand here. We're probably ready to head to the Starlight Strand, TBH. But, um... I'd like to maybe find the map node over here, because I think that's all of the Starlight Strand, and then over here it's a new biome. Also, yeah, this map is freaking huge. <coughs> Downloaded uh, an update before I started this recording. They're still doing lots of uh, patches. I mean, it makes sense. It's still in early access. So this was uh, 0 0.5.2, I believe. Which is kind of wild to think that it's still in early access considering how good everything looks. But, I mean, this is the first area and the second area, so, you know, fair enough. <laughs> nice. Oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't check the lab to see what resources I'm most in need of. But I'll definitely grab some if I can. Whee. Hey, you know what? I wonder what's over here. This totally looks like there should be a thing over here. Nope, 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 nope. Go back. Ugh, okay, whatever. Take those. I'm okay to drop them if I need. I don't think we're super in need of deep brine. Bonk. Okay, so we're gonna turn right and head this way. I could try and feed some of these uh, Gordos here. But I won't lie, I don't exactly feel like it, so we're not going to worry about that for right now. I hear a lucky slime. Diet meat. Okay, so launch it meat, it'll give you muns. There's no meat here though, so no muns for me. Or at least no meat easily accessible, I'm not really willing to hunt at the moment. I wonder if I can get up there. I don't know why I like making jumping sounds sometimes. Oh my god! Just seems appropriate, you know? Okay, I think I can get up here with a fully charged jetpack. Cool. Cool, making height, making height. Definitely higher than I was. <clears throat> Anything over here? Nope, just cliffs. Whoa, oh, no, 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 nice try, gravity, nice try. What's that, though? It looks different. 
I suppose it might just be a rock with the lights hitting good. Yeah, we need something else to build height to climb any further. That's fine. I don't even know if there's anything up here, but it's a tall mountain and I have decided I must climb it. Can totally make it up this way. I might have to hop over to that one. Yeah, not quite, but if I go over here, let it recharge. Nice! We're almost there! gonna have to circle back around the other way. Oh no, this just, I just can't. Oh no, okay, I can make that. I can totally make that. If there's nothing up here, I'm gonna be sad, but at the same time, you know, kinda makes sense. Ugh, yeah, I can't go any further. Oh wait, what's this? Can I stand on that? I can. It's probably very specifically designed. Dang. Kind of got my hopes up there. Same thing with that peak and maybe that one we can get up to. All right, well. That was neat, but let's find ourselves a mapping node, shall we? Anything up there? Maybe over here? Ooh, are those pomegranates? We definitely take those. And harpies. It's our pomegranates. Nice. And baddies. You know, if we absolutely need to, we can always Largo with um, a type we already have. That just seems very inefficient and wasteful to me. Yeah, that's lovely and I'm happy for you, but I do not wish to be stabbed by crystals. Thanks. Oh, that looks like the mapping node. Looks like I just missed it when I was here and saw that Gordo. Hey, 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 nice try. Awesome. Old pomegranates, yeah. And that's probably it for the Ember Valley? Three map nodes feels appropriate. Haha, <laughs> get dunked on, Tar. Um, I see a jar down there I can break, but I'd like to stay up here for the moment. Look at that. Another Gordo. Man, they sure are plentiful. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> yep, add it to the map. And what's this? When I left the ranch, when I left my home, I saw I thought that somehow I would prove myself. That I would prove to my parents that my choice was the right one and they would forgive me for not continuing their legacy. But that's not how it worked out. Before I started my journey, I heard that they had sold the ranch, and and I just couldn't face them. So I left again without seeing them. I regret that choice every day. I wish I could have said goodbye. Interesting. Now, how do I access build mode? There we go. Can I take this? Totally can. Cool. Stealing your wind socks, buddy. 
looking for your sacrifice. Grass. I don't know why, but it looks like it should do something. Okay, so there I got what I think is all the mapping nodes. And if I remember correctly, that was like a big impassable wall. So yeah, I think that's the Ember Valley fully explored. Hi, Puddle. By the way, is it is it pollen right now? The weather? Because if it's pollen, that leads to tangle. And if it's tangle, then I can get myself a tangle slime. And get that going. Oh, hello. Thanks. No, I don't want to go up there. I want to go in here. Uh, there is no in here. Okay. This is just a little freaking crevice. I think they're hungry. Oh, no, Tar. Hi, Tar. Is that a thing? Oh, it is. Boy. I mean, I'd have to carry it all the way home. Close to my to the teleporter. Not close. Ah, well, we'll try. You can always drop it and pick it back up. <coughs> Woo! Don't get yourself killed there, buddy boy. Yes, exactly like that. Don't do that. Ooh, but wait, what's over here? I've been here before. Okay. There's another one of these. Give me more ore. Thanks. Oh, hello. Oh, is that from a dead car or something? weird. I am going entirely the wrong direction if I want to go home. Oh, no, they just... Yeah, they leave little slime on the ground. I totally knew that. Don't, don't even worry about it. Oh, I should have gone for the home teleporter. It was about equal distance, and I still have to run back through the rainbow ridge or whatever. That's fine. I want to check out the Starlit Strand. I think that is what we are going to do next. Once I get this home. Run! Possibly not this way! I like being over here, but even better is being over here. <clears throat> yeah, I might as well grab this, seeing as we have the grind in the inventory. Run home and deposit this cute little squirrel thing. Ooh, now it's electric. Thunderstorm. I think it might leave resources where it lands, but I'm not 100%. Here, have a toy. Yes, hi, hello. What's up? Ah, Beatrix. I was cleaning up the lo- Oh, another one of these. Okay. Thanks. Oh, ribbon streamers. Cool. Hola, Beatrix! It's good to see you! I do hope you've been taking care of yourself out there, taking time to fill your belly before every new descent into the unknown. Also, 
I understand that the plot has thickened like a good sauce, and you've encountered some kind of monolithic structure out there on the far end of the island? No, because I haven't been over there yet. <laughs> Scary stuff. But then maybe my hunch is correct, that all the strange floor out there is not natural. Something just doesn't add up here, Beatrix. All the ruins we've been discovered across the far, far range have never looked as though they have harmed the environment in any way. Sure, we don't know their purpose or who built them, but the feeling I always had was that they had respect for this world. But maybe it happened anyway. Sometimes when you're out hiking, you step over a flower so as to not crush it only to step on another. Sometimes the only way for those flowers to keep on growing is for you to have never been near them in the first place. But it's all not all doom and gloom. Rainbow Island still seems to be thriving for now. Nature can find a balance, but it's not a guarantee. Ah, look at me, getting preachy on you. Lo siento, Beatrix, I won't keep you. I don't know what you'll find beyond those walls, but I trust your boots in any garden. I know you'll do what's right. Good luck, Beatrix. Hmm, I wonder if this might not be a wall. Hmm. Anyways, that is neat and all. Whoa, 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 wait, what? Ringtail slime? Um, 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 um. Come here, come here before something happens to you. What the heck? Those are slimes? I thought they were toys! Okay, let's go deposit this stuff really quick. Diet everything favorite none. Or nothing but trouble. Theft under cover of darkness is their favorite hobby, and they delight in getting away with as much as possible before the sun rises. The reason for this exclusively moonlit crime spree is that ringtails have a peculiar condition that transforms them into stone when exposed to sunlight. And while we're not saying this is an ancient curse, they're definitely a type of slime who would have an ancient curse if that was a thing. Oh. Once a ringtail slime starts eating, it will never stop. Just one ringtail slime is capable of wiping out an entire farm if given the time. And they offer nothing in return because a ringtail slime stops producing plorts when it would otherwise be full. If you plan on ranching these ravenous rascals, keep an eye out for a mischievous expression to know when to avoid feeding them. Materials developed from ringtail plorts are extremely resilient, actually hardening in the face of UV rays. And similar to pink plorts, ringtail plorts are very malleable, allowing a clever person to craft a wide range of things that can stand the test of time. Such things could be something as essential as sturdy shelter on a faraway island, or as simple as a collection of family photos that could survive a trek across a scorching desert. Okay, so these guys are special. Very interesting. So maybe we don't want an auto feeder if we're gonna have a corral of them? I wonder if you want to Largo them. Very interesting. So if I uh, encounter more of those, I guess, stone, that's, that's them. Very good to know. Hi, can you get in my inventory, please? Come on. Come on! So stubborn. You're fully upgraded, right? Well, no, but we'll buy that anyway. Now that we've got little rapscallions. Okay. We'll feed these two. Oh yeah, we'll take those heartbeats back. Missed one, that's fine. Ooh, definitely need to take care of the ports. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm wondering if maybe the auto feeder is just a bad idea in general now. <clears throat> for the, uh, for the, what are they called? Ringtails? Ringtail, yeah. Okay. 
So what are uh, prices like right about now? It's uh, 120, so no worry about time. Pink's down. Cotton's the same. Phosphor's down. Tabby's down. The angler ones are down. Crystal's the same. That's rock, sorry. Crystal. Crystal's actually up. Puddle and fire down. Boom is down. I don't have those yet, whatever they are. I think that's ringtail. Don't know what those are, and that's tangle. Hmm. And they'll eat anything. No favorites, unfortunately. So you, if you are going to Largo them, you want to do so with uh, one that actually has a favorite food. So they might be a good pair for Batty. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three. Six, seven, eight. Uh, do I only have nine? That'd be very convenient. I do. Okay. Do we not have a auto collector? We do. Am I blind? I am blind. I don't know if ring kills can be largoed. Here, hold on. Okay, yeah, they can Largo. Can Batty Largo? That's a dumb question. I've seen Batty Largos. There we go. So now we've got Ringtail Baddies. Now, we have them in the caves and with the upgrades. They don't turn to stone during the day. I feel like that would be bad. And we're going to set the auto feeder to low. There. That should be fine. Plot's empty. Let's. Uh, I don't want to waste things. There's my puddles. Oh, and you do need to clean out the uh, puddle and incinerator ones yourself. Uh, they don't do it manually. Oh, and I need one more puddle. Next time I have a chance, I should grab one. And they will not continue to produce until you clean it out either. Excuse me. Do I only have three of them? Or do I have four? I've only got three of them as well. I thought I had four. Oh ah, well. Hopefully those should eventually mix into being full Largos. For now, we're just going to let it be. Whee. Still hoping we get some Tangle at some point. But I guess I'm no longer combining those. I definitely need to clean out these as well. I guess we might as well sell them. Prices aren't the greatest right now, but that's fine. I totally thought that was a toy I was bringing back, not a new type of slime. Actually, to be honest with you, I should probably not sell the pinks. I think I'll do one more trip <coughs> of selling from these corrals, and then I'll put the rest in the... Uh, in the refinery. Might as well get a nice good stockpile of them going. So don't have to worry about it for a while. I spot a hungry slime. Hopefully the feeder gets them soon. Ooh. 
Come on. Supposedly, there are only three types of slimes we haven't encountered, but that's just the floor itself. Some of the ones that we've encountered, like, we haven't really. Like, I do not remember what this one is. Hmm. I'm worried some of them aren't getting fed with the medium hoggle. But I only have 10 in there. And it's more about speed that they get fed, you know. <clears throat> oh, I think the weather's weird. Nope, just a thunderstorm, okay. Get in there. You know, do I have enough to make another refinery link? That would really help right about now. Uh, Jellystone. Okay. That's something I should try and find. Then maybe I won't do another trip of those. We'll just let them build. We'll do those. Let's get them back in there. Yeah, they're fine for a bit. One to sell, and then the rest, and then one to the refinery, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to be a, a few inches slash meters away from your tank. I don't want to get blown up or exploded. Oh, more food. Oh, hi, chicken. I do not want you. I know, I know what English words. I guess because they get their favorite food more often. Liking the odd onion is a bit of a curse. Definitely good on money for a bit. Still, I don't think I can quite buy the uh, other ranch up, uh, extensions at the moment. All these ones. Let's make sure. Thank you. 
And yeah, we might as well empty this out while we can. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no, they're just rattling. I heard the sound of ports being moved, but they're just inside the thing there. How are you guys? 30, okay. Aha, trick shotting! Well, not really trick shotting, just long distance shotting. Trick shotting would be if I ricocheted it. You guys are grown, because of course you are. See, this is why drones make this game chef's kiss, or at least the first game. Because as you start expanding the ranch and you start using more of the extensions, it just takes too long to uh, go through and do all this stuff. Okay. Still want to go to the Starlit Strand. So let's go take a... Oh, here. Hold on. Really quick. Is Jellystone found everywhere? <clears throat> doesn't... Uh, sp uh... It doesn't say a specific area. I swear to God I can English. Let's -a go. We are hunting for jellystone. Oh, 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 oh. Isn't there stuff? Oh, I think it has to strike like resources or slimes or something. I swear there was a thing. Yeah, lightning mode. Especially dazzling lightning strikes. I did not see any for that one, so I guess it did not dazzle. Yeah, this way. I heard you, lucky slime. Something weird about this stone. Nope, cam crazy. I mean, it's not really new information to anyone watching, but you know. I know the Ember Valley had a decent bit of jelly stones. So maybe I should go back and grab it from there. Yeah, I'd say that was pretty dazzling. Oh, storm glass. Okay. That's what I've gotten so far. It's super dangerous, but I went for it. Go me. What's this? Apparently nothing. Oh, this is probably where that the gordo that opened this was. That tracks. Also, I will acknowledge that that was incredibly dangerous and very stupid, but I'm glad I made it work anyway. Oh, hello. Do not mind if I do. Swing. The only problem is that a swing slime can't push itself on the swing because, you know, arms. It also doesn't have legs to pump itself. Very unfortunate. I guess it's a co-op only activity. Oh, hello. Nothing? Nothing? Alright. I suppose that's fine. The refinery link is over here. Let's deposit this storm glass. Ooh, and jelly stone, thank you. If I can get eight, that would be swell. You know, it's entirely possible we won't get to the Starlet Strand, uh, this episode. 
because I'm very easily distracted and I kind of want this jelly stone and I don't even remember what the upgrade was for. Oh, another refinery link. Yeah, I totally want that. Oh, heck, let's go check it out. Uh, I'll take the safe way, though. All right, Strand, what you got? All right, this is the Starlet Strand. Yeah. Apparently I can go further back that way. Oh, hello. You look like a door that can potentially be opened. Climb in the rock face. Oh, sea hen, right. Ah, yes, okay, what do you want? You want tabby? Okay. I can potentially bring you a tabby port. Angler slimes, hello. Hello, mysterious cave. That is not a place that helps. I'm gonna fly over here though, because why not? Angler, phosphor, cuberry. Ooh, 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 hello. That was a gold slime. Uh, you can't pick them up, which is very unfortunate. You just shoot food at them and they produce their port. And I think they disappear if you get too close, like I did by trying to suck it up. That's wonderful. If I encounter one again, just uh, shoot food at it. And its diet is anything. Is there anything over here? It's going to be a bad spot for Tars in a second, I tell you what, Bobby. I don't think there is any legitimate purpose to coming over here. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, no specific purpose, I should say. What's that? Silky sand? Yeah, we'll take that. Ooh, here we go. Something. Beach Lantern. A hanging lantern in the shape of a beach ball, yet it is not a beach ball, but instead a hanging lantern. So very clever of this beach ball, I mean lantern. Lol. I don't see any tabbies over here. Oh, hello. Sure. I think I lost one. Yep. Fell into the water. What are you gonna do? Ooh, this is an arch. I wanna get on top of the arch. Why? Because it's there. Is that not enough? Okay, almost. Boom. Anything? Absolutely nothing. That's fine. It was a thing I did. Okay, well, this is the Starlit Strand. I'm not really sure what I was expecting. Any puddle slimes? New. No. This is not a puddle slime friendly environment, it would seem. Oh, hello. Sea Chickadoo, equal parts salt and fluff. Get out of my inventory. I don't want you. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, well that was almost really bad. Would not let me out. 
That's fine. We'll take a slightly more cautious approach. There we go. Nice. Easy first map node. I'd love to see it. Is there anything up here? This episode apparently has a theme, and it is me trying to climb every large rock structure in sight. Which is bad, because this place has a lot. <clears throat> okay, how do I get back to the portal? It's behind me, so I want to be going this way. Okay. Thank you. Keeping an eye out for Jellystone. Right, and we need a tabby plort to open that door, though to be honest, it doesn't really do much because we can just hop over. Still, slightly more convenient. Cheerful statue. This cheerful, eternally cheerful slime never gets hungry or agitated, but unfortunately makes no plorts. Ah, yes, the trade off. Hi, what are you? Rats. Fun. Okay, no jellystone here. So far, no unique slimes. Very interesting. Ugh, rip and recharge. Thank you. No unique resources either. Again, so far. Thought that pink slime was some uh, jelly stone. It was not. Trying to keep an eye out for the uh, mapping nodes, too. That lucky first find has me feeling optimistic. Violet Warp Depot. A set of two gadgets that allows you to remotely transfer resources between two points. Ah, those are good. Oh, hell yeah. Look at us. Okay, that's two map nodes. Oh, another one. This one wants... Is that crystal? I think that's crystal. Oh, honey slimes! Nice! They're a good one. Alright, well, there's our first unique. Okay, that's fine. We'll just grab ten. We'll largo them later. I think. You like mint mangoes, if memory serves? I've, I've always liked the sound of that. It just sounds appetizing. How many plorts are the sweetest, most delicious plorts known in the far, far range? <laughs> Other slimes can detect them from much further away than normal plort. We'll do everything in their means to get them. I see. I see. And yeah, mint mango. Alright, so we'll keep an eye out for those. They grow on trees of memory stars. Is that them? Uh, no. Oh, hello, Mysterious Cave. Another one. Angler Slime. This one I can do. Like, right away. Well, that's danger. Bill Robinson. Oh, hi, you're rock. Was it rock or crystal that they wanted? Here. Oh, no, 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 no. Hi, out. Please don't eat me. I'm trying to feed you. Guys, they don't want to be fed. Eight to ten. I'm a little offended. Oh, good. There we go. Don't hurt me. Please. 
Nice. What's in here? Ooh, a diamond. We'll take that. Storage cell. Ooh, huge. Absolutely huge. Uh, how do we open this one? fly over to find out. It's fine. I need uh, an angler lar or an angler port. Uh, how the heck did I get over here? Oh, probably yeah, over this way. Oh, is that a honey gordo? I do believe it is. Looking for the other side of that door. Here it is. How does it open? Oh, hello. I need uh, one of your plorts, please. Thank you. Totally looks like a place that should have jellystone. Seriously, how do you open this one? I don't see a spot anywhere nearby. Okay, that's back the way we came, so we want to climb up these things. I find oh yeah in the water I believe not this water though was it in less spooky caves I think it might have been oh, this totally looks like an area that's gonna have something Very least over there. Ugh, so much to explore. That's the thing I love about uh, the Slime Rancher devs. They really put just a lot of stuff in every environment. Like there's so much to see, so much to grab, so much to explore. A lot of little nooks and crannies. Oh hi. To be honest, you guys probably deserve a little bit. Being so grumpy. They even took a bite out of me, man! Couple! Ah, here we go. <clears throat> What's in here? Ooh, a little cavern. Rock, heartbeat, angler. I think that might be mostly it. That's just a shell. This is another door we can open. Okay, well, that's neat. Cave pillar. What is this let out? Oh, cool. Okay. Definitely trying to find some mint mangoes if we can. I would take a wild refinery link if you felt like. Yeah. I'll throw them out if I need to make room, but if not, 
I used to start my mornings with a jog along this path. It felt so great to feel the sea breeze as I'd make my way to the hollow trees ahead. Sometimes I would even come back at the end of my day and watch the sun set. But I also think this is where I got robbed by a ringtail slime. That funny. Oh, hello. Is that it? That's it, okay. That's fine, we take that. New resource. It's not anything. Some more silky sand. Anything over here? No. Nope, 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 nope. Not want to fall. Ooh, another ring tail. Um. Oh! Flutter slime, you're new. Okay, um, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, you know what? That's fine, I don't care. Okay, you. And. God, I wish I had a resource thing here. Um. Shoot, I'm sure we can find plenty of those later. Boom. No, not the silky sand. You. You. We'll pair them with the honeys, right? What, what are they like? Moondew nectar. Should you manage to go through the trouble of collecting moondew nectar and keep your the slimes well fed? Make curiosity to cause them to fly to nearby objects and creatures. And since they have some of the most powerful flight capabilities of all slimes, They'll soon make you appreciate the glass walls and roof of the conservatory. Okay. Yeah, they can go with the with the uh, with the honey slimes. Super easy. It's huge. Ringtail. more flutters if I can. Or at the very least, the uh, flutter plorts. Ringtail plort. Okay, well that's interesting. Two is technically fine. Ooh, grab you, though. If they haven't all been converted, we'll, uh... We'll incinerate some of our, um... Well, that's Moondew Nectar. Some of our baddies. Okay, definitely think it's time to start heading back. I'm having to throw out too many important things. <clears throat> We're just going. Well, oh, I'll map this though. Hello. Yeah, okay, we need to go. Definitely looks like an interesting place to explore later though. What's this? Oh, water. Yeah, we take that. But I would, more importantly, I would like to leave, please. This place has become very untenable for survival. How did I get in here? Yeah, here we go. That's ocean. This is not where I came from. Okay. I totally thought it was the same cave. Nope, because here's an angler gordo. It occurs to me that I am mildly lost, and this may be a bad thing. Mushroom planter. Here, let me check something. Do not have any warps. That's fine. I think I found the path back. Yep. Yeah. Okay. 
we are returning. I don't want that pot, but that's fine. Yes, hello. No, oh, I need to be going this way anyway. Imagine if I find Jellystone, I'm gonna have to drop something else. That would make me a sad shadow. Hello, I need to map you. Okay, you're mapped. Oh, well, to the left anyway. actually to the left. Here, we'll jet up this little ridge. <clears throat> uh, hello? Okay, well, there's no climbing up that ridge. That's fine. We'll go through here. Almost upon it. I just need a tabby slime for that one. Uh, apparently, it should be like right the heck here. Probably on the other side of that wall. Oh, hello, I didn't even notice that buzzwax there. <clears throat> it would not be very hard to bring a tabby sport next time we go. I just gotta remember to do so. Especially because it's right beside the teleporter. Man, I am getting bombarded by Lucky Slimes today. And I have not used a single one. Still sad about that uh, Golden Slime. Yes, hello, what is up? Red Return Home Portal. Well, thanks. Oh, B, glad I was able to catch you. I have some big news to share, and this rock isn't exactly bustling with folks whose ears I can bend. Hobson and I have been thinking a lot about what new adventure is next for us. We've been reading each other's travel journals, trying to find places neither of us have been. But even though we found some, none of them were really calling to us. Maybe things were finally slowing down for us? Then we got to talking and re came to realize that what we love more than anything right now is just being here with one another on my ranch. This ranch was one of the first on the far, far range, and we both learned so much. So we started talking about maybe passing all that on to someone. So Hobson and I have decided to start a family, B. And for the first time in so long as I can remember, I'm scared. Is the person that whose logs we've been reading your kid? That would track with the whole not wanting to follow in the family business. Hobson and I are both so independent we don't know the first thing about being parents, let alone raising a kid on the far, far range. But I love that old coot, and the thought of me seeing a little one looking back at me with his eyes makes me smile. I think that alone makes me feel like I'd move a mountain to make this happen. So I've got some work to do here, so much to get in order. Thanks for hearing me out, Bean. Sometimes just sharing your fears with someone makes you feel like you're no longer alone with those fears. Take care, B. <clears throat> Good luck to you. Yeah, they're out of food. I've been gone for a while. Okay, let's get these resources deposited. Let's see, tank storage. 
much. I need <sighs> more jelly stone. Ah, that's annoying. I really need to make a dedicated jelly stone hunt. I seem to have the most luck for that in the Ember Valley, so I guess that's what we're gonna have to do. Let's just get the food situation sorted. seems to be their max harvest, which is such an awkward number. Alright, gang, cheer up. Food's coming. Couldn't find any of those mint mangoes, which is unfortunate. I found lots of the dew that the, um... The flutters like, but I wasn't able to actually get any of them. Beats for them. Well, let's see how you guys are doing. I brought some friend ringtails. Do you have an all Largo? Do you have it? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Let's take the hungry ones. One. Two. Three. <coughs> Turn you into food for the fires! Hooray! Some of these went bad, that's definitely unfortunate. spot for the honey flutters. So I've got one spare spot here. Probably best if I don't uh, try and clutter up this spot. Here, let's go to the food area real, real quick. We'll come back with enough to Fully stock the incinerator. <sighs> My God, there's so much excess food here. Some free range slimes might not be a bad idea in this spot, except we'd have nowhere to put their, um, Ports. Okay, we should be able to carry the rest to just be the incinerator. Yep. 
over here and stop bouncing around. Okay, should definitely be enough. It's the garden, right? Yeah. How many plots do I have available here? Two. Might not be a bad spot to do the, the honey flutters. You know what? Yeah, because it's going to keep the honey ports away from everything else, so let's do that. Okay. I don't have your proper food yet. But you'll eat fruit. So I'm just going to stock you with that for now. Largo up. Okay. I can always replace. Uh, no, there's enough room for a garden for mint mangoes. Ports. Let's take a load of those. Too bad you can't take multiple um, inventory slots at the same item. This is the wrong way. Oh, but it's towards us. There, I bought the dig site. We'll check it out later. It's only two additional, right? Yeah. I haven't even utilized that other side yet. Where the heck is the exit? It's right here, right? No. I just used it like six times. Is it up here? No, that's where the puddles are. It's this one. Yeah, okay. I don't get lost easy, you get lost easy. Okay, sell these. Okay. I think that'll have to do for the moment. So my friends, this is where we're going to leave things off for today. Next time, I really want to try getting some more Jellystone. We've got a couple of upgrades that will really help us that we can get. We just need 18 more Jellystone. And, uh, yeah, we've got that new Corral set up. So we're going to have to do a bit of uh, testing for that. I'm going to blow that onion away, guys. Jeez. So for now, thank you to everyone for joining me. I hope you had fun. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time for some more Slime Rancher 2. Bye bye.